what our tax rates are. Uh, they're 7.6% uh, uh, on uh, real and 7.4% uh, uh, on personal. <coughs> And uh, anyway, they were the same as last year, wasn't it? Same as last year. They're all the same as last year. So if anybody <laughs> had any comments or anything about it, this is uh, everybody signed in. It's here for the public hearing. So we just hold this forum for anyone to express their opinion or voice on it if they had one. Uh, I'm going to say it's very fair rates. Uh, we're one of the lowest in the state. And so we're uh, proud that we've been able to do that. But uh, Watercraft is the uh, uh, same as well. All, every bit of our uh, tax rates are the same as we were last year. Okay, well, appreciate everybody attending that. And uh, I'll now call uh, the public hearing closed. Now I'm going to call. Call to order. Uh, the meeting of Ohio County Fiscal Court on the 22nd day of August 2023 at 5.02. Uh, and uh, Kenneth, would you lead us in a prayer and sure. place the flag? Dear God, we thank you for this opportunity to be here tonight. I pray you help us give, give us the wisdom in our decision making and help us as we guide things for the county. Please keep us safe through this evening. In your name I pray, amen. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Uh, before you have the minutes of the August 8th, 2023 uh, meeting, I'll need a motion to approve. Make a motion to approve. Motion by Kent Callaway. Second. Second by Michael McKinney. Uh, is there any discussion, any corrections or additions on the minutes? Discussion or corrections or additions? Me now, I'll say aye. Uh, Opposed like sign. The minutes are approved. Uh, and we have amendment to the January 24, 2023 minutes. Uh, Miranda, would you? Uh, so I can pass the minutes around right here, but it's pretty much the check that was given from the sheriff for the capital outlay. Um, it was all explained in the minutes properly worded, but the auditor specifically wants special wording that says it, satisfied, it satisfies the previous year's audit findings for their account. So I just want to add that small part. If you all want to take a look at it, I can pass it down. I like the motion. The motion by Jason Bull. I'll say. Second by Bo Bennett. Any discussion? I will say it's just to uh, it's just to uh, clean up some wording. It doesn't. There's no substitute change. All in favor say aye. Aye. Hold the black sign. Motion. Okay. Uh, before you have the bills, claims, payments, and transfers, including the late list that we wasn't planning to have. One of these days we'll actually have one with them. Like this. So I need a motion to approve that one. A lot of late bills. That's just one page. There's a late late list too. You must have last week. You were absent last week. <coughs> That's your step I wonder why I had two piles. I'm like, I'm going to do that. I thought, why did I have two piles? Motion by Ken Callaway. Okay, that's why I was confused. Second. <laughs> Second by Michael McKinney. Hey, you have two agendas too. Use okay, so I know. So hang on, I'm going to make sure I'm going to get the right one. The one that's not. August 22nd. Okay, this yeah. is the 22nd. Okay. Yeah. Is there any discussion on the bills, paying payments, and transfers? Any discussion? Big nine, all in favor say aye. Uh -huh. Aye. Close like sign. Oh, carries.
and, and you have the sheriff's quarterly fee account uh, we need to uh, uh, recognize we've got it or approve subject audit however you want to <coughs> just acknowledge Mo motion by Jason Bullock to acknowledge the report of the sheriff's quarterly report fee account second second by Larry Morphy Is there any discussion or questions for the sheriff he's here Uh, all in favor say aye. 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 Folks like that. No. Next we have some guests from the public library. Uh, they've they've uh, given us their tax rates and they can tell us about it. They're in your packet, by the way. I'm Debbie Phillips. I'm the president of the Ohio County Public Library Board of Trustees and I'm here on behalf of the Ohio County Public Library. I'd like to thank you for allowing us opportunity to present our tax rates to fiscal court members as far as for this upcoming year. This year we're pleased to announce that our tax rates have decreased from 9.6 to 9.4 for real property and from 9.77 to 9.4 for personal property. It's always been and will continue to be our honor and our pleasure to provide a large variety of services and programs to all kinds of, of all kinds for all ages to our fellow Ohio County citizens. Thank you again as far as for your time and for all you do for the citizens of Ohio County. Thank you for all y'all do. And, so uh, we need to acknowledge that. Uh, uh, we, we, well, let's go ahead and make a. Uh, yeah, yes, I think so because since it was not more than compensated rates, we don't technically approve it. We okay, I, I I acknowledge the uh, 24 uh, tax rates for the library at 9.4. Uh, 9.4 for real yeah. property mm -hmm. and also 9.4 9 9 for personal property. Yes, sir. Second. Uh, Motion by Jason Bullock, second by Kent Callaway. Any questions or, or discussion? Uh, I just want to again say how much I appreciate what you've done. It means a bunch of staff there. It's, it's a wonderful thing to have. All in favor say aye. Uh, aye. Thank you. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you. Okay, you guys remember, was it the last meeting or two meetings ago? You guys remember that we uh, uh, voted on a uh, reapportionment that was, was given to us by the committee that, that handled it. But now we got to make it official into an ordinance. We, we uh, uh, agreed to it then, and it's ordinance number 2024 uh, 20, 20, 20, 2. This will be the first reading. I want to make a a motion to accept uh, ordinance 2024-2 first reading let's leave it the same as it judge yes that's why we'll go ahead and make the motion <laughs> make that's why we did the public hearing so i don't get all that extra I'm no sorry. i mean no it wasn't that okay okay second like more for you the only addition with me guys we just yeah. need to put the <coughs> report in there from yeah. best's office yeah we do have that I'm just glad it's staying the same because I was going to get a lot of extra. This is the order, so we got to do a roll call. Bob. Okay. Bennett Bennett. Yes. Bennett. Bennett. Yes. Bennett. Yes. Johnson. Yes. Callaway. Yes. Morphew. Yes. McKinney. Yes. Bullock. Yes. And uh, the next one's just res a resolution. It's 2024 20, 3. Are the funds that we had to move around a little bit? Uh, <coughs> Did you guys vote on this last meeting? Is that the one thing? That you, is this something? On what now? The, the real portion. Or they came and they came and addressed you guys last meeting, didn't they? Yes. Okay. Yeah. So we want to go ahead and I need a motion on this ARPA resolution. Make a motion. Motion by Kent Cowboy. Second. Second by Michael McKinney. And Ann, you need that word correct? That would be another motion. Yeah. Okay. Yes. And this will be subject to money they give. They'll have to return turn receipts in. No, we're going to write the checks directly. Okay. Good. Directly to. So that will be good. Any any uh, 
Any discussion? Put no call that too. Bennett? Yes. Johnson? Yes. Callaway? Yes. Morphew? Yes. McKenney? Yes. Bullock? Yes. Um, I'd like to make a motion, David, uh, in regards to that money that was transferred for Ann to be able to write the check to the vendors up to the sum of about five thousand dollars. Yep. Okay. Do I uh, have a second? I'll second that. Second by Kim Callaway. Right. Any discussion or question? Been none. All in favor say aye. Opposed uh, like that. Uh, that motion carried. Uh, uh, we need to uh, do a resolution on 20. Uh, 2024-4, that's House Bill 1 money, cold severance money. I did that. I said all in favor say aye. 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 Close like that. Okay. That's our uh, black top money, right? That's what we're asking for a motion on now, yes. And uh, it's going by the formula? Yes. Accept. Motion for Kent Callaway. Second. Thank you, Larry Morphew. Are these in order by uh, the way you have them listed here? Is, or is that in? Yes. Uh, number should be at the very top. Okay. On favor say aye. Aye. Opposed like that. Mr. Kerry. Uh, resolution 2024 20, 5 CDBG. This, Eric here, he's not here. No, but we. Yeah, he, if, if if need to, this is uh, the uh, grant that the water district is doing for the uh, intake over to water plant, the bed to get the <coughs> intake from the water from the river into the plant. Isn't that correct? He sent us an email, I think, when we got Yeah, you got an email on it. I expect that he would be here, but that's okay. Yeah, so the, the project is a new raw water intake for the plant. Um, it's a, a $6.2 million project. They're getting $2 million from Community Development Block Grant, and that money has to be awarded to a city or county government. So uh, Ohio County Fiscal Court is going to ask us to pass through to get that money to um, Ohio County Water District. That way they can fund part of the project. It, uh, you, need, you need a motion to get yes. we need a motion for the pass through yeah well, we got the resolution 2024-5 so we need to make a motion to accept resolution 2024-5 yeah. I think I'll make that motion did, you, Mike? Or I thought I heard somebody I'll second it Jason Jason I'll motion by Jason Bull second by Michael McGinn do you have a timeline on that I'll have to amend that money in is it coming up pretty quick? I'm not sure of the timeline. I'm Coley Smith from Grab Out Lab. I've got to introduce myself. Um, I'm not Sorry, sure of the timeline of when the funding is going to be delivered to the county, uh, but I know that the funding has been approved by the Department of Local Government, so it should be pretty quick. So I, you know, my understanding is that everything is ready to get the contract signed. Um, it's just getting this resolution as the last uh, piece of the puzzle needs to fall in place before everything starts to roll on it. Okay. All in favor say Opposed? Okay. Uh, next, this one is actually uh, Miranda. It's resolution 2024 6 SLCGP Cyber Security Grant. Uh, Applying for a grant for all the county computers, servers, uh, tech, antivirus, all of the above, along with some trainings for our employees, and it's an 80-20 match. It'll be um, $123,000. So I just have to send this off to apply for it. 
If this is just loud as a slide, I don't mean we got 123,080-20 minutes. So the... We spent 20%. But we have to do it and bed it and everything when the time comes. This is just letting her fly for the money. Okay. Do I have a motion? Make a motion. Motion with Kenneth Callaway. Second. Second with Jason Bullock. Is there any discussion? Any discussion on that resolution? I just had a question. So the 80 20 match, uh, I don't remember, but is the. Is this uh, security? Is it already budgeted? Any, anything budgeted for that? So we're going to be so we're going to be seeking out that twenty percent or twenty five thousand dollars. We had uh, a company come in and survey our computer computers and the um, server and everything for security and realized how I wouldn't say behind times most of our computers are, but most of them have not been updated. Most of them do not have what they need to properly be running county government safely without getting hacked and all the above. So. Yeah, we'll be spending more than that if we don't get the grant. Will this fall under that House Bill 9? Maybe. Federal money that we could apply for? Maybe. So we don't know. We'll need to keep that on the table. Okay, I just want to ask. Okay. Any other questions or discussion? Seeing none, all in favor say aye. Aye. Opposed like saying that in the past. Uh, Justin, if it's okay with you, uh, I'm going to skip over this uh, whole session just for a minute because we got Collie from uh, Grad here, and we need him on this uh, fire. Uh, we got fire sirens, storm sirens, weather sirens is what what we really are. And uh, Charlie Shields, if you want to come on up and find them, and then uh, Collie's here to help him with it. And then we'll, then we'll go back to, to uh, the code session. Actually, he knew the bigger, better legal terms than I can. <laughs> Give or just. Okay, so um, Ohio County was awarded a contract or a uh, project through the hazard mitigation grant program to add two new outdoor warning sirens, one at Bluegrass Crossings Industrial Park and one at Ohio County Park. Um, initially, somehow grad fell off the wagon whenever the award was presented and the county went ahead with procurement um, that I believe you all uh, viewed bids for and voted on a few meetings ago. Um, once grad came back in to start looking at things, we realized that we had not done some of the processes that are required for using federal funds for federally funded projects. Namely, there are affirmative socioeconomic steps that you have to take for all federal contracts. Um, to make sure that minority-owned businesses, women-owned businesses, and small businesses are afforded an opportunity to bid on federally funded projects, and we didn't do that. So the bids that were received from the public advertisement that I believe ran on July 12th need to be rejected by the county, and we need to do another round of procurement for this project that Grad will help uh, Charlie and Ohio County Emergency Management take care of that way. When it comes time for us to get reimbursed from FEMA, we don't run into any um, reimbursement issues because we ran afoul of federal procurement regulations. And, and you notified the company, didn't you, Charlie? Yes. We have letters for you signed, Judge, that I will email to them as soon as we have your signature on it. That way, they know exactly what uh, federal regulations we ran afoul of, and then those same companies will be um, directly reached out to for bidding on the next round of procurement, which we believe will start next Wednesday um, if the court proves this. How many bids do we get? Two. 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 Yeah, so one, that, one, they one. were open in public, so how's that going to be for a new, a new person bidding? Did you say there's a new part? Well, there, there, there are actually the specs are changed. They have to rebid. Yeah, you're yeah right. we're, we're going to, the county's going to exercise their right to reject all bids, and we're going to redo a uh, round of closed procurement, and we'll solicit closed bids again to be opened at the next court meeting. So, pro so the, the motion would probably be to re to rescind any action taken with regard to the prior. Uh, well, I'm saying though, exactly. anybody did the bids now, they know what the kind of bid was. I, actually, well, it's, it, 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 they've changed the size. Yeah, the scope the scope of work is <laughs> also changing. All right. Yeah. So, <coughs> and, and the companies, that, from my understanding, were comfortable with the rebidding. Yeah, when I call, when I mean, whenever he explained to them that it's the the county can't uh, go forward with this project because you wouldn't get reimbursed for it from FEMA. So. There's really I no other option. Yeah, I'm thinking, well, that's not really 
Right. Well, those standards was actually not what the way the specs, we didn't have the right specs there. We didn't have them to advertise by. Right. But what we advertised by and what we accepted was not adequate to do the job that the ground paid for. In other words, they, they weren't uh, powerful enough and loud enough to do the job. As one of our former employees would say, it was like sending a, a boy to do a woman's job. First time I told that Charlie, I thought I was referring to him. <coughs> But I, meant, I meant the siren, but, uh, not, not the, but I meant the yeah. someone, <laughs> someone make that motion. Motion, motion McKenna Callaway to reject those bids. Sorry. But, but just probably for terminology's sake, just to rescind the bids uh, sure. and the acceptance of those, the, those bids, because we've already accepted them. Okay, rescind the acceptance. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Do I have a second? I'll second. Second by both bids. Any further discussion or questions for Charlie or Colleen? Take nine on first side. All right. Opposed like sign. Uh, now I'm going to ask for a motion to go into a uh, uh, closed short session. closed session under KRS 61810, Chapter 1, Section F. Uh, uh, motion. motion by. Both the Larry for a few. Second. Second for Kent Callaway. All in favor, so join me in the back, back room. And this will be short, folks. Don't have, don't have to go anywhere. I bought the grandson I was talking about. Any motion go back to the session? Make a motion. Second. Both McKinney, second to Larry. All in favor? They are. Aye. We're back in open session. And for the record, I'll tell you that no business was conducted. Just discussion that were allowed under this the this KRS that I quoted. Uh, Name me the senior center personnel. Uh, you say plural. One. One. Okay, good. Just one. Uh, this is for the senior center. Um, for a sub meal driver substitute, they're used as needed. Uh, Amy Mode uh, at the rate of 1353 an hour part-time as needed substitute meal driver uh, effective date will be uh, 820 and so just do a roll call Bennett yes Johnston yes Callaway yes Northview yes McKinney yes Bullock. yes thank you we're ready for committee reports. Uh, I don't know if any committees has met, but uh, Charlie, uh, be sure that the uh, yeah committee meets. And I gave uh, uh, Bo Bennett the uh, uh, history. Uh, what's been cost? I'll give with Mr. Bennett and see what day he's good for next week, and I'll make it happen on his day. Okay. Um, We've been, you remember uh, a few months ago that there was some uh, people from high school here and uh, from the blood drive for the school hero scholarship and all that. Uh, they're asking the fiscal court for $500 to match their $500 for a uh, $1,000 uh, scholarship. So, uh, how would you guys feel about us doing that? Asking for what, Judge? I didn't understand. Five hundred dollars to match the, uh, uh, their five hundred to give a thousand dollar scholarship for the hometown heroes. Who's coming up the other five hundred? Western Kentucky blood drive. Yeah, Western oh. Kentucky blood people. Blood that would that determine who the hero was. That I mean, that would be that committee's. The Western Kentucky Regional Blood Center will decide that. I'm sure that they will get applications from the school, high school. This be an ongoing scholarship. Uh, this be it has. We we've actually done it before. Something we need to budget. Uh, <coughs> we never have because it's such that amount of money. We've always just done it from our discretionary funds. And and I'm on board for a hundred. We get 
Uh, well, it's going to be like about 80 bucks a piece if we all do it. Yeah. If everybody does it, they, yeah, I don't have a problem with it. I'll do it. No, I will as well. Okay. So, let's under, uh, Ann understands where it's coming from. So, let's go ahead and make a motion to contribute it. I'll make a motion. And motion by Larry Moore to uh, authorize her to write the check. Motion by Larry Moore Few. Second. Say, so Kent Callaway, did you get the motion? Yes. Authorize the check and all that. Can okay. I see that paper on that? And that'll be $80 out of each of our discretionaries. Yeah. All folks, say aye. Aye. Opposed, like sign. Okay. Um, okay. Nick, you'll come up. We have a bid coming here that we'd advertise for for a, for a uh, tracks of truck. We do that every year. Bo and uh, Kenneth, I should have talked to you before. before. Every year we buy a new tracks of Mac. And we take the one that's one year off old to a sale in Alabama and at this usually we make money on it. Yes. And we never lose any. You wanna come here and open the bid and read it. Might come around here behind them so you won't fall off the stage when you see the price. <laughs> make money again last year. Oh, yeah. There was. was the record when I was first on Fort, we'd make good money. Then we got to where we were. We weren't. We were just kind of, and then we're back to making money again. So. Okay, you want to read it? Is it from? Uh, this one here is from Worldwide Equipment, uh, 2024 Mac, TR64F, just like the one we had with 16-inch steel body. Uh, Kentucky Master Agreement, $203,766. You get that. That is an increase from what we had last year. Yeah, 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 I think it was 185. Yeah, we don't know. What is the one we sell, Brian? To almost 230. Okay. So it probably left for the board to say $203,766. And we hope that's good. And which we will take that one in the first week of September. Mm -hmm. so. Do uh, y'all uh, want to make a motion then discuss it or? The I mean, I was going to say that's a kind of what could you can you buy two or three of them at that price and take them down there and sell them? And <laughs> so. Who are you? So question is the, the sales open to the public I assume that this is a they're bidding this through the their estate bid Con our contract is master agreement with them yeah it's a master agreement we, we right. do but we run ahead and we, we run ahead paper anyway right yeah right this is a master agreement it. bid and then we're selling that that's that's right. what's happening are you saying the company company discount type deal is what you're saying right because then we're selling we're selling our used one at a public Yes. Yeah. That's, right. that's why that's why we're making money. Because we can buy cheaper than the public can. It's got to go to uh, Montgomery, Alabama for the auction. They actually auction it off. So get by a little more. Do I have a motion? Motion mm -hmm. by Kenneth Callaway. Second. Second by Larry Morphy. Any further discussion? Yeah. <laughs> Any discussion? Being none. I'm first say aye. Aye. Hold the like sign. Hold the back. Hey, uh, Nick. Yes. You, are you? You're not leaving, are you? No, I'm gonna go back over. Here. Okay, I got some talk to you about for today. Um. Okay. Any other committee reports? I know that uh, you've got an activity coming up, uh, Jason. Yeah. We have a meeting Thursday, which we kind of combined with the Ohio County uh, Health Coalition too. So they're helping out. So there is a meeting Thursday on that. And then the walk is uh, 
September the 9th? Mm -hmm. Okay, September 9th. Yeah. It's the meeting, it's Thursday, isn't it? Yeah. Is that a health? No, health coalition meeting was last week. They have one last week, but aren't they, what? I wrote it down. I don't know. They, they might have sent out something, I've not seen it. Okay. But the 9th is the walk. But two fourths are kind of combined. It was just good. Is that a fundraiser? Is there a fundraiser? Yeah. We're raising awareness. Now we do sell shirts and we, we take donations and stuff like that. We have and we have a fund, but it's more of awareness. Uh, it's just been pretty great. Any other committee's report? Being that I'm gonna go ahead and recognize our uh, deputy coroner. Donnie Pearson. <laughs> Judge, I'm here tonight to ask for the court's consideration to possibly bid, uh, set up a bid for us for our newer vehicles. Um, the one we currently have, one of them that we currently have is not even safe to be on the road, honestly, and we're having to make a lot more trips out of town uh, for the medical examiner's office in Louisville and Madisonville. And when we do that, then that leaves no coverage uh, because the other vehicle is in service for that. Um, I would like to entertain entertain the thought for that. I'm sorry. It's okay. We can't hear you. I got to report it. Yeah, I was wondering if you can come up. <clears throat> sorry about that. I can hear him. <laughs> it's got to reach a recorder there. What I'm asking for is the court's consideration to advertise for bids if that's the process we need to go through in order to try and secure a newer vehicle, uh, something that would be reliable for us, for the coroner's office, um, for our future needs. Like I say, we've got two vehicles. One is uh, very reliable at this time. The other is considerably outdated and a lot of mileage, and it's just not even safe to be on the road at this time. Is that the van? Or the it van? is the van, yes. And I understand it was used as a prisoner transport van many years ago. Yeah. And uh, the coroner's it was transferred to the coroner's office from the jail in uh, early 2011. And I think it, it dates somewhere back around 07 model, I'm not sure, but that I, I believe that's correct. Is that what you need in a van? Yes, sir. Um, something preferably that already has a, like a factory divider in it to where we are the operator and passenger is separated from our cargo and so therefore makes it safer all around versus what we have now which with that particular van it's just an open passenger van and has no separation at all the, the, the truck is four wheel drive it's it's separate so we're we're safe there but would like to have consideration on that if at all possible um, I can help in any way that I possibly can there uh, he did by he did round up some costs on it. Uh, the lowest one he found and those are just ideas pay. for yeah. what we're looking for we're going to say that no no that's not what we're saying okay I know this is what I'm looking for that's 2019 oh okay it is 2019 model. Yeah. okay and that's that one is uh, uh, that's uh, that's it yeah okay. The lowest price when he had found, of course, was forty-two thousand eight hundred eighty-eight. It's relatively low mileage. It's a twenty nineteen model. And it's one of those are from our uh, three of those are from our local vendor. Sixty-five thousand miles. So you say it's forty-two. Forty-two thousand. Yes. It's not on the state contract price or whatever. We well, no, that's that's a used one. State uh, contract, I understand they have uh, Bachman Motors, uh, Bachman Chevrolet, and Dodge in Louisville is the uh, current state contractor on that. I did reach out to them to get some ballpark ideas, and GM, they don't have anything available, so we're anywhere from uh, six months to 18 months out before we could get anything new through them that would meet our needs. Now Dodge, uh, Ram, they would have more availability on the lot right now um, for
for anything like that. And it would still fall under the state contract. If we didn't to the village. I'm yes, sorry. Could, uh, we check and see if we can use opium money for that. Uh, yeah, we can do it. Let's take it under advisement. We won't be able to give a decision tonight, but let's take it under under there. And anything you can do, we'd appreciate. Okay, absolutely. Well, Did sure. you get any prices for them, Donnie? From who? I'm sorry. Hey. Yeah, Don, yeah, prices. I did. I've got one ballpark um, for a cargo van that they had. And how much was it? Was it this one here? It's, it's in that, Judge. It's the first one, I think, on top. It should be Bachman Mobile. Yeah, yeah, it's uh, yeah, 47000 hmm. And that's new? That's brand new. That's, that's and that also includes nice. that also includes a factory divider to separate the back from the front. If I ready to roll, if we'd ready to roll on tonight, I'd much rather do that. Than they said they had a few of those on the lot uh, up there that they could make available immediately. Well, let we'll we'll work on we'll look at it. it. Look into it. Okay. Thank you. Thanks so much for everything you do. Thank you. Uh, our coroner's office, it, it lets you go around and, and see what they do. It's unreal how many runs they make. We're sitting at 80, 82 right now for the year. Yeah. And uh, it, we have a, a board here now, and uh, many times it has multiple bodies in the board. And uh, I don't know if. Uh, if you guys are new, the I once was here last term, we all did a tour of the morgue. If any of the new guys wants to go and tour it, kick up with Elvis or Donnie and they'll give you one of the morgue. Uh, okay, uh, we're ready for the uh, magistrate's comments and requests. Let's start with the 5th District and go down this time. Yeah. Not for me either. About? Uh, nothing from the 3rd District. Nothing second. What about 1st? Nothing. Currently from 1st District. Okay. I would like to find out when we can get our uh, black topping started. Uh, well, I mean. Have we got the money yet? Right away to, for uh, part of it. We're going to budget. We, we'll get let the purchase orders out in a, in a amount. Y'all need to get your roads ready yet. And, and bids from Scotty's and all that. <clears throat> but don't give me by a PO until we bring it to us. Um, anybody else got anything for the good of the body? I want to thank uh, Forgeville City Council for being here and for Helen for whichever hat she's got on today. She, she uh, represents EMS, Dundee Day, and probably several other things. Well, okay, school board. School board. Yep, that's right. I don't know why I forget that. I'll remember that for sure. Uh, with uh, that uh, said, uh, we're going to call this uh, meeting adjourned. We'll see you back at the next court meeting. And, uh, yeah, we won't hear.